yeah so uh, welcome back guys uh, this is mother pvl and uh, today we are going to start this computer networks and security uh, course so uh, because lack of time i can't just make videos uh, a bit by bit a concept by concept i can't just make those videos so i will just uh, post the videos uh, combinedly as much as possible so now uh, we are going to just start that course so actually um, uh i want to just say something so i am just going to discuss all the things uh, in this particular course uh, according to this uh, nptel course so i had just studied this nptel course so uh, uh, from this uh, I, i had just collected some notes and the things which i had just understood so i will just discuss with you guys uh, so that uh, this may be a part different from uh, that what you are learning from the class so uh, you can just use this for the purpose uh, of whatever it is so i'm just going to discuss uh, regarding this uh, nptel course only so um, please subscribe to works of the college please share with your friends yeah now uh, let's start the lecture fine so uh, basically computer networks and security is something uh, which is a which requires a prerequisite of operating systems and design so basically we need to just have some uh, basic knowledge in that subject so that uh, we can just do this a bit easily uh, now uh, if we just see here so this is the thing uh, give me a second also yes. yeah so here we can just say like uh, this is an a uh, basic architecture or we can just say like a uh, basic objectives of this particular um uh computer networks so network architecture protocols and then functionalities so this is a very basic architecture so now network architecture way in which two computers communicate with each other is a network architecture so functionalities and protocols so uh, basically every system will contain some basic functionalities and protocols so network architecture is something which is useful for uh, a communication in between some devices so we need to just convert the data into some uh, analog data or uh, a signal vice versa so with the help of some physical connection so that physical connection is known as an amplifier so amplifier is something uh, which is used for the purpose of connection in between a uh, system so in between two to three systems uh, if we need to just have some connection regarding the transfer of the uh, data or signals we need to just use this amplifier so amplifier will be used here so we can just uh, say like if there is no switch then it occurs a co collision so here we can just see amplifier is having a connection in between these three systems so if these three systems are uh, using at the same time then we need to just use something like uh, switching otherwise it will just create a big mess uh the amplifier doesn't work properly so uh we can just uh, say like there should be some switching conditions so that the amplifier will just work properly so l2 switch so what is l2 switch it is a switch which works on data with less collisions so basically uh, this is a ba basic layer of a uh, networking amplifier so transport network data link physical so we'll just uh, discuss about this in further components so here we can just see in this uh, particular figure so let me just go apart yeah now uh, if we just see like uh, so here we can just see like uh, this is a computer and this is an amplifier so this is a switching condition and this is another amplifier and this is a uh, computer 2 so here the main thing is uh, there is a transfer in between these both computers so uh, by watching this we can just understand this thing right so basically uh, the transfer will be done with the help of those amplifiers so here switching condition is nothing but uh, the data transferring will be done with the help of this uh, switching thing so here these are the components of the computers like application layer transport layer network layer data link layer and physical layer so data link layer and physical layer these both things are nothing but the signals and the data transferring uh, conditions so those all things will be uh, transferred from a computer to an amplifier and from amplifier here the physical thing that is uh, 
so, so sorry the network thing so the network thing will just uh, the send the data into the another amplifier of that computer too and then uh, the data will be transferred like that or the signals will be transferred like that in the same way and then uh, we can just see here the next concept that is protocols so what is protocol protocol is something which we can just say like an emergency or uh, a condition so which should be satisfied with the most priority so protocols are of different types so application protocol transport pro transport protocol network protocol and data link protocol so these things we will just discuss in the next uh, up upcoming uh, pages so we will just uh, see what are those protocol uh, syntaxes or we can just say like uh, protocol links so for application protocols we will just use this http links here we can just uh, uh, see so so if we just see here if we just uh, get into this yeah now we can just see so https so this is something which we can just say like uh, uh, it supports for application layer protocols whereas transport layer protocol will have something like a uh, uh, transfer control protocol uh, rtp udp those all things and then uh, ipv4 ipv6 i think these both uh, i think we might have uh, saw this uh, under the router of our wi-fi adopter so uh, under the wi-fi adopter we might have seen this both things and then data link is nothing but the ethernet wi-fi bluetooth so these are the things uh, which we can just uh, use it for the data link protocols for transferring of the data whereas our cross layer protocols application dns uh, transport uh, sm snmp network arp dhcp so we'll just discuss uh, let us now leave it and we will just discuss in the upcoming uh, pages now osi layer open system interconnection layer so what is this so open system interconnection layer is uh, something like uh, a connection in between two systems so connection in between two systems uh, this, uh, this is a basic thing uh, which we can just say like uh, what are the things which were in a combination between two systems uh, will be defined in this particular open systems interconnection layer so here we can just see application layer presentation layer session transport network data link physical these are all uh, some of the things which we have just discussed in the above pages but now i will just discuss briefly so application layer is used for the purpose of a file transfer and terminal emulation whereas presentation is something data formatting and encryption so the data which is uh, coming from uh, one particular system that will be encrypted so that the emulator or uh, amplifier will not just uh, see the data completely so to maintain a privacy the data will be encrypted and then session so this is for the maintenance of that particular data transport is nothing but uh, it is used uh, as a provision of end to end delivery so network a delivery of packets of info including routing so data link transfer of units of info framing and error checking uh, physical so transmission of binary data of a medium so transmission control protocol represents a set of a set of public standards that specify how packets of information are exchanged so the information in a particular system will be exchanged in the form of some packets so the transfer of packets uh, or the information exchange uh, those all things will be uh, discussed in this transmission control protocol or internet uh, protocol whereas local area network lan we might have just uh, listen uh, known about this in our previous days so lan is something which is used for playing some uh, basic games like uh, road rash or moto gp so those all things which we use it to just play with the help of this lan a uh, multiplayer games can be uh, played with the help of this local area network so it works with the workstations which contains so lan is something which we can just say like a simple wire connection in between two systems so it will have something like a wire and then inside that wire or we can just say like the technical components in this particular uh, lan wires are uh, repetitors hubs transceivers NICs, bridges, switches, routers. So we'll just uh, discuss about these things. And then uh, wide area network. So wide area network is something like uh, combination of LAN wires. So combination of 
land wise can be considered as a wide area network so it is something like which covers a large, large geographical area it converts with, it connects with uh, different locations so info can be exchanged so what is nic's so nic's network interface card so network interface card is something which is present in our previous uh, generation desktop computers so it used to be present in this particular cpu so with the help of this the uh, data can be transferred the media the media is something like an mp4 mp3 or images or whatever it is those all things can be uh, exchanged with the help of this network interface cards so uh, two systems with nic cards so 100 meters to 300 feet max so the, this is uh, the distance of this particular lan wire uh, which consists of an nic cards so repeaters can be used to increase the distance so what is repeaters so repeaters is uh, something like uh, which we can just say uh, in an office um, if we just consider for per floor if they are having only 10 to 15 uh, systems so if we just consider four to five floors then we can just use multiple hubs so that uh, if the whole building is working on only one particular project so if the whole building is working on one particular project then we can just use multiple hubs and then work on that particular thing with the exchange of data so here we can just say like multi port repeater hub so here we can just see the there is the combination of this nic is as a hub so if there are more systems then each network will have its hub so multiple hubs will be formed we can just even uh, do this so if the buildings are in a same uh, street so if in one street if an office is contain, containing two to three buildings then we can just use this multiple hubs so each building will have uh, one particular hub and then in this whole street they will have four buildings so four hubs totally so what are the problems regarding this hub so hubs share bandwidth between the attached device they can't filter traffic uh every device can uh, see every packet sent so what is this so uh, we need to we shouldn't maintain the data transparency right so the data which is being shared in this particular hubs shouldn't uh, known to each other even they work in the same company the work which is done by one person shouldn't be known to the another person so we will just consider one example if we are just solving a code shift challenge so uh, if a person submits a solution then uh, the other person shouldn't know about that solution right until the contest gets ended so until the contest gets ended the person shouldn't know about that particular solution right so this is the same thing so if the work is divided into some particular uh, blocks so the work should be done properly the work which is done by one person shouldn't be known to the another one so but uh, with the help of the subs uh, the data will be open to everyone so everyone in that particular hubs or in this multi port hub uh, can access any data at any time in any hub so every device can see every packet sent so smart hub so it is a bridge so bridge is something uh, which we will see next so bridge is a uh, switch network so communication for distant stations are done through switching so data from source are routed to destination by switching from node to node so here we can just see uh, here we can just see like uh, this is a main frame or we can just say like the these two are containing the data and these are something like server side so this is a server and then these are also containing the data so if the data from these two need to be transferred to these two then uh, they are just using this switching nodes with the help of this server so the server will decide like computer one need to use this path for transferring the data so if server one decides uh, for the computer so to travel from this block again to this block and again to this block and then they need to then it need to go from here to here and from there so these things will be decided by the server so the server will only decide the path of that particular computer to just transfer the data so this is a main frame so this will be a main frame transfer of the data will be done with the help of the switching nodes uh, with the command given by the server so uh, don't uh, be a uh, big complex so it's a very uh, normal thing if you just see so uh, 
two sw two switching techniques so circuit switching and packet switching so what is circuit switching so circuit switching consists of a three phases that is establish transfer disconnect must have switching capacity and channel capacity so establish so it will just ex establish some route and then it will just transfer the data and then it will just disconnect the thing whole thing because that route will be again used by some another service so must must have switching capacity and channel capacity so what is packet switching packet switching is something like a station breaks a message uh, into packets stream of packets are routed through the network and uh, delivered 